Is ChatGPT the end of SEO? Will it replace content writers? And how can you take advantage of SEO to become more profitable and grow your business? Well, you'll learn all of this, plus more in today's video. So recently, Google shares dropped by $100 billion after their new AI made a mistake. And this highlights the power of AI and how it can affect the market. Plus, finally, they have a big competitor with Bing, and their years of monopoly over search are definitely being challenged. And let's be clear here. If you're not using AI right now as a business owner, you're setting yourself up for a huge competitive disadvantage, and it will help you speed everything up if you use AI, because this is moving faster than Moore's law, and we need to be prepared to continually innovate. Now, will artificial intelligence replace content writers? No, but it does mean you can scale way faster. AI content is not good enough to just publish without any manual editing. But the writers who used to produce one or two articles per day can now do 10 or 20 per day and get 10 times more done. And you must understand, ChatGPT is definitely not the end game. It's just a starting point. So you can't just build all your business systems around ChatGPT because really, this is just the beginning of AI. And let's be honest, we don't know what's coming next. Just like when the internet evolved, it's impossible to predict the real potential of AI. Plus, it will continuously innovate and new AI tools are coming out every single day. If you check SaaS marketplaces like Product Hunt, you'll see that 99% of all the latest tools are AI related. Now, this is huge for SEOs because agencies, entrepreneurs, SEOs in general, you can dramatically increase your profit margins with AI. For example, at my link building agency, we're constantly testing new AI tools. In fact, we recently used the AI tool Get Munch to automate creating a bunch of YouTube shorts. And some of them got thousands of views. So let's say you were paying for an editor previously $15 a day. Well, now you've just saved $400 a month profit, which is $4,800 per year in extra profit. So overall SEO could become way more profitable for your business. Now, as an owner, you need a mindset switch. Timelines should be way faster. What would have taken you eight weeks can now get done in two days. And what you could take, what you could do in a year can get done in a few weeks, right? Now, I don't think my maths adds up there, but you get the point. You should be moving much, much faster. And speed with AI is your advantage. And bear in mind, a lot of SEOs live and breathe in this online world. So we're very close to AI. And whether it's my network, YouTube videos, podcasts, I'm hearing about AI every single day. But if I call my grandma or my mom and I ask them, are you using ChatGPT? They wouldn't have a clue what I'm on about. So if you're watching this video, congratulations. You have a head start on 90% of people. But if you're an SEO, you should be prepared to change your strategy because search will change. And Bing, of all search engines, will probably become more popular now. And backlinks will become more important than ever because content is now more of a commodity. So the way you optimize for keywords as well should change too, because you shouldn't be trying to rank for quick answers on Google, like can cats eat bananas? AI will just answer those and you won't get any clicks. But did you know that 50% of Google searches don't lead to a click anyway? So all you've got to do is make sure you target the right keywords that actually get clicks. And as SEO changes, you must adapt. But how? Well, there's still a need for articles. I mean, would you trust for recommendations, AI are real people's content. Most people would still rather have advice from people they trust. So anything that involves advice, first-hand experience of products, or very subjective answers in general are the types of keywords you should be going for. And I have zero illusions. More innovation is coming from companies like Apple, Meta, Google, and everyone has to move fast. A lot of businesses will look completely different this year, and within three years, I don't know what's gonna happen next. So, should you be worried about SEO and AI? Well, I don't think you should worry about what's outside of your control. However, you do have to learn how to use this technology and take advantage of it. There's going to be new opportunities if you look for them. And if you already have an SEO business that's profitable, then you also already have the skill sets of how to lead, hire, build a team, and grow a business. And when it comes to selling SEO services, well, there's always gonna be demand for that too. But the service you sell has to evolve with or without AI. And as your skill sets compound, you can keep building newer and better things. Potentially, AI will reduce a lot of your labor costs, stress, and management time too. So the key is to keep working hard, learning, and preparing so that you're in the best position possible. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful.